Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Richard here, and um, it's a warm welcome from what will become my new home office. And last time I broadcast from this very, very spot, well, almost very spot, um, I had the most an awful cold, and I'd uh, just like to um, thank everybody for really um, supporting, being very supportive and saying, hope I'm feeling better. The cold went on for some, some three weeks, and, um, basically known as man flu probably, but I did feel like something that you normally flush down the toilet, to be honest, um, but got through it and going to work gives you an extra handicap, you feel really rough and uh, over in the UK we've got a, a wonderful advert for some, an advert for some decongestion where it chaps, shows the chap walking around like he's in bed walking up upright and I felt a little bit like that. Anyway, I'm back on again. Just like to say thank you for everyone for your very kind comments and postings. Last time I did a video was several weeks ago now, and it was the about the um, Victor talking machine, the VV50, which um, is safely in the other room, um, away from any paint or anything of like that. This afternoon, I thought I'd actually do a little bit of a comparison or or a video about comparisons and the journey I've had uh, in my life. Um, regarding drills, you know, the things that you drill a hole in the wall with and um, put a bit into and uh, use as a screwdriver in, in, in the modern day image. Um, my relationship with um, drills goes right back to when I was a, a teenager, and my first car and my first dinghy boat and I was refurbishing and that. And um, so I'm gonna show you some of those things and the journey I've been on. Uh, since then. Um, so I hope it won't be too boring for anybody, but you may have a similar journey you want to share with us and uh, with, with the YouTube community. Um, just to also say that I will be doing some more videos. I've got uh, some records that I've purchased, a new LP that I purchased away from HMV um, via um, eBay and um, so a piece of vinyl that I haven't bought vinyl for so long, I've forgotten um, you know, when that last was actually, to be honest, the last record. I know what my first record was, but not my last one. So without further ado, I'm just gonna turn the camera around and then show you my collection, if you like, of drills. Here we go, hold fire a second. There we go, right, okay. Now you can see, I was actually on a paint tin there for a second, uh, a good old uh, advertising for Crown and uh, home base and uh, as well there. I'm doing um, the walls. I've started in this corner of the room. It's quite a nice room. It's going to have a nice outlook too. Look, it's going to look over look a park where I live in Maidstone and um, it overlooks the North Downs as well, which is really nice. So um, rather than the front of the house, which has got, has got more going on in the road sometimes than EastEnders or one of the soaps that's on UK television, um, and uh, so the garden actually goes way over there and uh, you can see the other houses but it's really nice living here so and it's quite quiet as well so I've been decorating this room which was a uh, which was fairly white colour anyway but I thought I'd freshen everything up to do the ceiling done this back wall now uh, even done the radiator window sills and skirting board got some bits over here to do I've discovered of course that you have to block all the holes, of course, with some mastic and then rub it all down. So there's been quite a lot going on the last few weeks. I've got this week off as a holiday, so I was trying to forge ahead. Now, to the subject matter in hand. Now, here we have a Black & Decker drill. This is what this one is really quite heavy. I haven't weighed it, but it's quite a beast, this. I bought this, well, a long time ago. I'm not going to say how long ago, but a long time ago. You can probably tell by the colour what year it is. And it came... I bought it from... I got it from Woolworths actually in Folkestone because my parents lived down by the coast and um, it came with these accessories, it came with this sander, sander here, and then there was a sanding wheel which I very rarely use I have to say, just move them out of the way for a sec, um, and it came, and I've still got the original, and there's a grinding, there's a, a cutter as well in there, um, this, uh, let's take this, out. this sanding wheel look, and one of the things it didn't have at the time was that if you stuck that screw in with the sanding wheel, it used to it used to fly off. So I made this little grommet, and uh, it that worked perfectly. I even still got some some original ones in there. Shows how much I've used it. It came with a that's a rotary sander, and then it came with the cutter, and then it also came um, 
is this bit here which you put on and you can use it to as a I suppose it's a cutting edge there as well. I have used it like that. And that's the chuck the chuck key used to be the thing. I remember being at school and being told never lose your chuck key. So the chuck key is in there. Let me just put you down for a second. Talk amongst yourselves. There we go. And uh, there's the chuck key. So you never lose the chuck key. Some people used to put the chuck key on the they used to tape it onto the onto the flex, which I thought was quite clever actually. I didn't do that. I would catch in this little pot. So that's quite important. And the thing about this, this is a two speed machine. This was the top end. And on here you can probably see it says high on there. And on the other side, you turned it around the gearing and it said low. So it's quite a, quite a beast this one. It didn't have any, it was on or off. It had um, also had a handle that you could steady by putting here, which I've got here, which is here. There we go. You used to screw this into this bit. There we go. So you had right or left handed, depending on whether you were right or left handed. And you could, and um, so I think it used to go in there. That's it, it's going in. So this, this machine is a uh, 340 watt. 1.58 um, so it's quite you know it's quite quite meaty and it has the most amazing when you switch it on it's really quite quite great it's, it's you know I've used it a lot I still use it on occasion when when the um, battery one I've got I'm going to show you next when it used to fail me it annoyed me to no end so this is really the daddy of them all really in my view Black & Decker I remember my father having one that he got given and it was in silver so it was even older than this one but this one I bought for about 25 quid um, and that was that was the whole kit and I bought this very nice steel box to put it in which has been in ever since it lives outside in the, the new workshop which is my garage turned to a workshop and I've even invested in I made up a cable for it because never the flex is never long enough is it I'm going to attach that multi-plug down there just to demonstrate so that's that one and that's the daddy of them all then several years later I'll just get a cup of tea here a second cheers to everyone cheers to everybody on YouTube that's better um several years later Again from Woolworths, I bought one of I bought one of their own makes. I think actually I had some as a present, and this came with this charging, this huge great battery. Okay, this is their own makes. I because their other the the brand makes were quite expensive at the time, and I couldn't really afford it, so I went for this one, which is good as good as good as the others. The problem with this is that you have to charge. This isn't lithium battery. This is just an ordinary battery, um, cadmium battery, and. So it's all right, and it's from the now the workshop range, which of course Wolves isn't in, is no longer around. But um, so it's a NiCad battery, and you just charge it up on this charger, which used to go green when it was finished, red when you started off. But the problem was that if you put the battery on here, you can't see the lights very well. You can just about see them now, um, and. Um, which is always great fun. It's over on the wall that you know. So I don't know where it's going to work for us this afternoon. No, it's not. You see, it's not even charged up enough. So it used to fail me quite often. So I'd, re I'd go back to my good old Black & Decker. But now I've bought a new one. Look at this. This is, this is half the weight of the original one. And um, it comes with this um, lithium battery. 18 volt lithium by Bosch, good old German again. And it's got this wonderful clutch system. It even comes with a light. Um, it's got two settings as well. One or two. It's got a hammer, it's got a hammer drill on here. Plus you've got this torque arrangement on the, on the side too, which is even better. It tells you when you got on, you can see the light there. It's brighter. A nice bit of spark in there too. She knows which is working. And it comes with this wonderful kit. So you get this the charge unit. Uh, that's the battery, sorry, that's not the charge unit. That's the battery. That's a, a new second one, which I always have charged up. The charge unit. You get this wonderful toolbox arrangement. Obviously the, the instruct distractions there, just in case you should need them, which I do have read. 
cable and then you get all this drill kit stuff which I've put in, you know just stood in its bags I've just put it into boxes and made it so you've got a cantilever type toolbox so it's really good and um, it's you know it's a really good bit of kit the other thing that I've invested in recently is this little mini mouse sander uh, again from good old Black & Decker um, and I would definitely recommend one of those because if you're doing walls or whatever, you can even attach the vacuum cleaner to the back so you don't get the dust everywhere. So, um, you know, it's been really quite fun, actually. And um, But I just thought I'd share with you how good this drill is because I think it's a really amazing bit of kit. It sounds a bit like a dentist, doesn't it? I could do teeth with this. That's an idea. Perhaps I'll, do, perhaps I'll take up dentistry. No, I won't. And it's quite precision because you can. I've used it to drill out some of the raw plugs that are for this shelving that was on the wall, and it's uh, really good, quite effective. But I just thought I'd share those things with you and um, hope to hear your comments soon. And I'll let you know how this, uh, how the office is faring. So, uh, and uh, so I must get on and do a bit more ceiling, I think, now. Yeah, done a bit of edges. I'm going to use the roller on the ceiling, that should be fun. So uh, there you go, and uh, there we are. Take the door off because that's always the best thing to do. And got my trusted Sony uh, radio there. Listen to classic FM. There's a roller. Nice. So yeah. So this is going to be quite good for sitting here. I knew, I'm going to order a new desk facing outwards. So that should be fun. Anyway, speak to you all soon, and uh, look forward to your comments.